Introducing the Digital Data Flow Unified Study Definitions Model, or the USDM. Here is a brief recap of the Transcelerate Digital Data Flow Initiative. The Transcelerate DDF initiative is working to help organize and automate the data and information in a study protocol. Why? So the industry can transform how studies are designed and delivered. The DDF vision includes three key components, digitized protocols, a study definitions repository to enable integration, and guidelines on connecting between different systems. With industry standards applied to these components, it's possible to achieve standard machine-readable content, more efficient technology integration, reusable verification and conformance rules, resulting in end-to-end -end automation in the clinical trial landscape. What exactly is the Unified Study Definitions Model? The CDIS standards supporting DDF includes study protocol standards and reference architecture. Three main components are the USDM class diagram, which is the blueprint of the data structure and how the data relates to each other, application programming interface, or API, which is the coding language used to connect between different systems, and controls terminology, which are a set of code lists and valid values. The USDM class diagram is the blueprint of data structure and how the data relates to each other. Systems integration involves moving data between systems, like moving content from one box to another. If the boxes aren't the same size, it is difficult to move data easily, similar to fitting a square peg into a round hole. Having a standard class diagram applied to systems can make integration much easier to achieve. APIs are coding constructs to connect and exchange data between systems. APIs are used by coders. APIs can be described as instructions on how data is expected to interact. By using both the USDM class diagram and API standards, you can use the same instructions across systems or connecting to a new system. For control terminology, think of all the ways you could describe an arm of a clinical study. It's easy for people to conclude study arm and study group are the same. Systems aren't able to make these determinations automatically. Control terminology allows for consistent use of valid terms to help both stakeholders and system align on the data. To support the structure of study definitions model, CDISC has developed new protocol control terminology, including code lists and terms, as well as updates to existing terms as needed. How does the USDM help achieve the DDF vision? When applied, the USDM can be used to facilitate data exchange moving data from a digitized protocol to a study definitions repository, a novel central component aimed to facilitate data exchange to downstream systems. How can the USDM study protocol standards and reference architecture be applied across different stakeholder groups? There are a number of scenarios, and here are two examples. First, a medical writer is working in a copy-paste word authoring environment. To prepare for automation, she can start standardizing protocol terms according to the control terminologies. Second, there is an IT developer at a sponsor or vendor solution company. To apply the standards, he starts to align clinical database fields to the USDM class diagram. Want to learn more? Head over to Transcelerate's website to learn more about DDF. Also, visit the CDIS DDF website for the latest version of the USDM materials.